بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم روى الإمام مالك في الموطئ عن نافع عن عبد الله بن عمر أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إنما مثل صاحب القرآن كمثل صاحب الإبل كمثل صاحب الإبل المعلقة إن عاهد عليها أمسكها وإن أطلقها ذهبت الإمام مالك رحمة الله عليه إن هيز great book al-muwatta related <coughs> from Sidna Nafi' who related from Sidna Abdullah bin Sidna Umar radiyallahu tabaraka wa ta'ala anil jami' that the holy messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said a man who knows the Quran well It's like a man who has a hobbled camel. If he takes care of it, he keeps it. And if he lets it go, it gets away. Quran is the easiest thing to memorize. Yes, the easiest thing to forget. It's easy to memorize because Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَسْرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِذِكْرِ But there are a lot of mutashabihat, places which look like each other. You know, قُلْ فَاتُوا بِعَسْرِ قُلْ فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِثْلِهِ قُلْ فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِمْ مِثْلِهِ have a lot of places which look alike. Which means one needs to um, memorize it well but one also needs to go through it on a daily basis. That's why our kibar, they used to have weird Qur'ani, and the best dhikr one can do is the dhikr of Qur'an. That's why Imam Shafi'i, rahmatullah alayhi, and many other scholars used to, you know, recite the entirety of the Qur'an on a daily basis. And in Ramadan, he would recite it 60 times, meaning twice a day. You know, and the least one can do is one juzu a day. You know, on Jesus a day, so that you will recite on a monthly basis. If one has problem, for example, there is a way of reciting, you know, the Quran in, in a month without even reciting the Jesus in one um, place. For example, if you recite or you read four pages of Quran, four pages is nothing. After each salah, you have 20 pages every single day. And Quran is not more than 600 pages. 20 pages a day, you have 600 pages a month, you know. And if you can do better, it's always better, you know. Let your tongue be wet with dhikri. But the best dhikri is the Qur'an. Even one of the names of Qur'an is dhikri. Inna nahna nazzalna dhikr. Wa inna lehu lahafidhu. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala make us among the people of Qur'an. Because the Prophet says that he is sahibul Qur'an, the companion of the Qur'an. Not only one who recites from time to time. The companion of the Quran will be told on the day of judgment. Iqra warqa. Waratil kama kunta turatilu fi dunya. Fa inna manzilataka inda akhiri ayatin taqra waha. Meaning the more ayat, the more manazil in Jannah. The higher in Jannah. May Allah grant us the highest place in Jannah. بركة القرآن الكريم هذا صلى الله على مولانا محمد وآله وصحبه